Okay, hello everyone. You are welcome to another video. I actually want to thank all those that have subscribed to my channel and um, all those who are actually yeah, who have been following me thus far. Um, in this series, we are looking at data transformation, and um, in the first video, we have looked at how to rescue data uh, as the first step in data transformation. And um, we have seen the importance of rescaling. You know, when you have a, a minimum and the maximum values, you are trying such that you want to bring them uh, close so that they uh, do not uh, affect your your output. Now, um, in this video, we'll be looking at data standardization as the second step in transforming data. Now, when, when we are talking about standardization, we are actually dealing with standard deviation in the data set or standard error. So that means in a particular range of values or in a distribution in, in data, remember these are statistical words, they are terminologies. Now, in the range of data, um, we are having, having, having distribution. Now, um, so division has to do with the error that occurs, you know, between the mean of that particular distribution or the population to the next value. Between the mean to the to the next value. Take for example, you have um, the, the the distribution of children in a class. We having age three to six. Um, so the mean of that particular in this particular instance will be. 4.5. Now, if you are having a child or an outlier in the data with age 100, you can see, um, first of all, you are going to discover that it will make the standard deviation of that particular uh, distribution to go to be high. You can see that so, and it may affect, yes, of course, it will affect the building of the machine learning model. So in this video, we are going to be looking at how to do standard standardization. How to do standardization. So continuing where we uh, stopped, we want to see the statistical properties of the data again. So first of all, we'll say standardization escape here. okay so this rescaled x df okay we want to see want to see the top records okay so here we have it now we want to carry our standardization now I'm going to look at the uh, statistical properties of the data this is to describe shift and enter okay I'll transpose this So now, if you look at this, okay. So in um, the, um, the the standard deviation has been affected in the it's been affected already in the uh, rescaling. But let's look at the original data set so that we we'll get a clear picture of uh, what we are talking about. I'll transpose this and then I'll run. Okay. So now this is the original data set. You can see that for for pregnancies. The standard deviation is what is three. Is three, okay? That is, I think, is fair enough. Then for glucose, the mean is 120, and then the standard deviation from or the standard error from the mean is what 31.9. Can you see that? And then when you come to insulin, the mean is 79, and then the standard deviation is what 115.24. Can you see that? So this is these are these are, are high values. These are high values 
you know 115 19 31 15 these are quite on the high side so when we are looking at standardization we are trying to make sure that the standard error from the mean to the next value is not uh, too wide apart is not too wide apart so that is what we are looking at now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to call the constructor we'll call in the constructor for the standard uh, for this uh, stand, standard scalar okay now we we'll say from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar okay then what do we do next now we we'll say um, we, we scaled SDF, we scaled, we are going to assign it to a new um, um, variable, a new variable which is actually in array form, just as we've done initially in the uh, rescaling. Now this is rescaled XDF dot values. So let's see what it is. We scaled x d f underscore a r r, and then we we'll run this. Okay, so it, all of them has been turned to uh, to a list form. Now we will now separate the values. Uh, into the inputs and the into the input val uh, variable and the output variable. So now this is the input variable. We scaled x d f underscore a r r, and then we pass in uh, the uh, parameters we need. That is, we need um, all the so we need all the rows and then the seven, um, eighth, seventh column. So this pass. Okay, this is um input input variable, and then y will be the output variable, and that is the output column that we are actually working to get ok we'll put everything and then we'll have the last column now we are going to we are going to now call in the standard scalar call in the standard scalar now scalar is equal to standard Scalar dot feet okay x so we are fitting in x you remember it is the input value and it is the input variable now let's let's name this to the output variable okay then we we'll give this rescaled x d scaled x and then put this as std let's put it as std equals scalar dot transform what are we transforming x can you see that okay so we want to set the print option remember the setting of the print option print option allows us to print out the uh, the values in decimal places so you can now choose which of the decimal places you want for me I want three decimal I want it to print it out in three decimal place and then you should print rescaled X
underscore std now we we'll run this okay we can see so this is the rescued x td so this is the um the, the transformed uh, the um, standardized data it has been standardized in this form you can see it is in three decimal places so this is 0 0.864 0 0.640 and then this is minus 0 0.845 so now the next thing we want to do is to um, bring back these you know these are actually in variable form they are in containers so um, we are we are now going to convert them back into a data frame so converting back the data into a data frame now to do that we are going to name the data frame to be rescaled Scaled x underscore. Let's name this as the underscore risk uh, uh, r and then s. So r will stand for rescaled, y x will stand for standardized. So we'll say this pd dot data frame open brackets. So the column and the data will be rescaled. x std and then we need the columns to be equal to okay so we we'll start dividing this let's see there's a comma here there's a comma here, there's a comma here. Okay, so now before we do this, let's uh, see the columns of the data so that we can now know what to do. So this is df dot columns run okay so remember this is x it is x so there was so there were seven um so there are seven columns that we used seven features that we use so we are going to take down the seven Okay, so now there's another thing we are going to do. Remember, the there is the y, there is the y variable, which is the um, which is the what do we call it? The uh, output. So we are we are going to assign a new column to it, and the name will be outcome. The name of the column will be outcome. Outcome is equal to. Um, I'm going to name it. Uh, give it this. 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 Uh, let's, let's take a look at good. So this is it. This was the initial. Control C. Control V. Okay. And then. Output. You understand it now. So, so this is the new data set we are forming, and then this was the rescale data set that was having the output feature of outcome. That is the the outcome is the output feature, and it is that output feature that we made to that we uh, gave it the variable y 
so you know we took it out of the original data set and then we now um, trans um, standardized the X so since we have standardized the X and gotten a new data set which is a rescaled X STD standing for standardized we are now converting this this standardized data back into a data frame so this outcome was in was part of the data the original data set so because of that we are now going to assign a new column called outcome which is containing the outcome of the previous data sets so when we run this now we'll now print out print out the top records of the data. So we want to print our top records. So this will be a prescaled xdf dot add and then we need it uh, yes dot add. Okay, rescued XDF is not defined, so please rescued XDF underscore R underscore S. Okay, so finally, this is the data frame containing the rescued data set, the rescued, uh, um, uh, rescued data, and also the what the standardized data. So, as it is now, two. The um, data transformation stages have been applied to it. So in the next video, we are going to be looking at the last but not the least for this series, which is the normalization of the data. Until I see you next time, do have uh, a wonderful learning ahead. Please, I want to encourage you to um, like this video subscribe to it and share to others so that they can also learn thank you and bye for now